I am here at my church home where I've been for the past going on six years. And um, it's in Cooperstown, New York at the First Presbyterian Church. And I just wanted to take a moment to share this holy hookup with you as I stand here in a ministry that has been in operation since 1867, knowing that my ancestors, my African American ancestors, my Cherokee Indian ancestors were all somehow connected in one way or another upon the ground that I'm standing, which is, as Reverend Jason Cashing said today, holy ground. I want to thank God for this holy ground. It's been a place of refuge for me. I want to thank God. Again, I want to share this holy hookup with you from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 23, and it says that we are to hold fast to the confession of our hope. Hold fast the confession of hope without wavering. Hold fast the confession of hope without wavering for the one who promised is faithful. For the one who promised is faithful. Thanks be to God. May the reading of the word be a blessing to whomsoever today, whomsoever can process by the Spirit of God in you. Hold fast to the confession, your confession of hope. Hold fast without wavering. Hold fast because the one who has promised is faithful. If I know one thing, I know that God is faithful. Amen? God is faithful to do what God has said God would do. Amen? I stand here in this great Ephesus of the First Presbyterian Church in Cooperstown, New York, where my ancestors celebrated their emancipation from slavery. I stand here where Susan B. Anthony and her girls continue to sound the alarm for the women's suffrage movement and the rights of women. I stand here in a more like Presbyterian church community ministry that has been standing since 1867 and welcomes the LGBTQ community. I'm standing as Reverend Jason Cashing said today, I'm standing, we're, 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 mm, I'm standing on holy ground, man. And I can feel it. It's, it's an awesome experience. And now that I'm all out of my, my, my accolades, I want to get into the meat of the matter. Amen. There's a lot of transitions going on. And some feel good, some feel not so good. But I need us to remember this one thing, that as long as the transition is pointing you in the direction of moving forward, you're on the right track. Amen? You're on the right track. And you need to hold fast to your confession of hope without wavering, knowing that the one who has promised is faithful. If you're moving and you're grooving and you're, you know, 
navigating in, in with the, with good intentions. Cause see, God looks at the heart. People look, people look at the outside, but God looks at the heart, the pureness of the heart. And that's really what it's about. That's what faith is about. That's what locking into God is about. That's what the holy hookup is about. Locking into God, locking into that thing that we, even though we can't see it, we know that we didn't make ourselves. We know that we didn't create the air we breathe. We know that we didn't create the trees and the animals and the waters and the seas and the animals and the seas and the doggies and the cats. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. Something greater than us did that. Something greater than us created the planet. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy in a in the midst of a world in chaos. I'm happy because I know regardless of what happens today or tomorrow, I'm going to be all right because I'm in good hands. You're in good hands. And that's what we need to know today. We're in good hands. And we need to hold fast to our confession of hope without wavering, knowing that the one who promised is faithful. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Keep that. Keep that. Hold on to that. That's facts. Amen. I'm Reverend LaDonna Clark, a.k.a. Lady Jam. Jam stands for Jesus anointed me. And I am just in awe with the fact that God still breathes through us. That Jesus still lives through us. That whatever faith background you come from, you can still get a holy hookup by linking up with that divinity that is in you, that is in all of us. Because we all God's kids, whether we want to believe it or not. We're all the children of the entity that created everything that is, was, and will be. And although we may not understand it all, if we can operate in love, we can operate in respect, and we can operate knowing that everyone in the universe just wants to live, love, and be. And respect that. I think it'll be a better world. What about you? <laughs> Thank you for listening to The Holy Hookup for this week. Again, I'm Reverend LaDonna Clark, a.k.a. Lady Jam. Jam stands for Jesus anointed me. This has been brought to you by... Church in the Hood, baby, the Faith and Hip Hop for Life movement. I want to also recognize those who, who support from behind the scenes, like the Utica Presbytery of Utica, New York, First Presbyterian Church of Cooperstown, and all of you who support by what you do, by your volunteerism, by your love, your support, and your, gift, your gifts, your gifts and your talents. Just want to tell everybody I love you. I love you. And guess what? The best is yet to come. Peace. <laughs>